Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and the only one Hennis and today I am bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto my channel. And today guys, what we're going to be going over are all of the best class setups for all of the primary weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now I just want to tell you guys right off the bat here that these are all my own personal opinions. So as you guys may have some sort of differing ideas or differing opinions as to what attachments you may want on some of these weapons, but I'm speaking from my own personal experience, what works best for me. So hopefully it'll work really well for you guys. So just in case you guys don't understand what's going to be going on, I'm going to be be giving you guys the best class setup in the SMG category, the best class setup in the assault rifle category, the shotguns, the LMGs, and the snipers. So hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video. If you guys do, go ahead and smack a like. That would definitely mean a lot to me, guys. If we can go ahead and smash 100 likes on this video, that would let me know that you guys want to see more sort of tips and tricks class setup videos like this. Uh, it's definitely something that I did want to bring you guys before the end of Black Ops 3. As you guys know, we're really quickly approaching the end of BO3 and the release of Infinite Warfare, which I'm incredibly excited about. Uh, so I figured it'd be a nice recap sort of a nice way to end the call of duty black ops 3 season even though it's not officially over yet we'll just bring you guys some really good class setups for each of the primary weapon categories so uh, without further ado guys let's get right into this video so the first weapon category that we're going to be covering here is the smgs now i know a lot of you guys are probably going to see this class setup coming but yes indeed it is the vmp now i did have to actually do a little bit of thinking as far as this class setup goes because as you guys know i did release a video a little while ago talking about how i think that the weevil is extremely underrated in call of duty black ops 3 but doing a little bit more thinking off of that, I thought to myself, the VMP has just been such a consistent weapon during the life cycle of Black Ops 3, absolutely smashes kids, so uh, definitely the weapon that I personally believe is the best one to use in the submachine gun category. Now as far as the actual class setup goes, I figure the best attachments for all players would be to use Quick Draw, Grip, and Fast Mag. Obviously, if you're going to be using an SMG, you're most likely going to be playing on a smaller ranged map like Nuketown or Combine, and uh, when you're in those tight corners, being able to pick off lots of enemies very quickly is really crucial, and uh, so I figured fast mag would be one of the best attachment attachments to have on that class setup now uh, i did experiment with another attachment and that was long barrel so if you're playing on sort of a larger ranged map or maybe there are as many people in the game that you have to worry about maybe substituting that fast mag attachment with the long barrel attachment may actually do you guys a lot of good so that'd be the only little tweak that i would give you guys uh, as far as this class setup goes but uh, hopefully you guys will uh, really have a lot of luck using this and then as far as the perks goes i really highly recommend using afterburner guys i've been preaching this throughout the entire life cycle of black ops 3 for the most part at least, uh, that Afterburner is definitely a perk you're going to need to run and definitely the only perk you should have in your perk one category. The reason for that is because in Black Ops 3, it's really a favorable game towards the people who know how to use the advanced movements. And so if you have Afterburner on, as you guys know, it's going to allow you to recharge your uh, thrusters much faster and allow you to get back into those gunfights much quicker. So Afterburner, definitely a good perk one category. Now, as far as the perk twos go, definitely Fast Hands and Scavenger. I would say Fast Hands without a doubt has got to be one of the most important perks in this game. And Scavenger, I would say, if you're going to be going on a lot of really high gun streaks, is going to be something that you're really going to want to use, especially with a weapon like the VMP that does have a pretty high fire rate. You're going to be burning through ammo pretty quickly, so having Scavenger on is going to be really beneficial. And as far as the perk 3 category goes, I would highly recommend running Tactical Mask, especially on a map like Newtown or Combine, where enemies are most likely to be chucking grenades. And in this case, what's going to be helpful for is Tacticals. Uh, having Tac Mask on is really going to help you guys out a lot. So that right there, guys, is the best submachine gun class setup for Black Ops 3. Now for the assault rifle category, guys, this one again was a little bit difficult for me because I know that the M8 again is a fantastic weapon in this game. It was a fantastic weapon in Black Ops 2 as well. I know that the Man of War is a very, very powerful assault rifle. It was actually a gun that I made another best class at a video towards the beginning of Black Ops 3. But after doing a lot of thinking, guys, I came to the conclusion, I think most of you guys will agree with me on this, that the KN44 is the best assault rifle in the assault rifle category in Black Ops 3. So you guys will actually see the class that I've up on screen here now. The attachments that I love to run on this weapon are quick draw, high caliber, and extended mags. Now, high caliber, guys, is the attachment that I really want to cover here as far as this class setup goes, is definitely the most powerful attachment in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, hands down. If you guys have not tried running this attachment on your assault rifles, you're definitely missing out because this attachment destroys people. It absolutely destroys people. I have been sometimes able to get two shot kills against people when using the high caliber attachment if the shots are in the upper body range. So definitely an attachment that you're gonna need to run on any SR rifle. Even if you're not using the KN44 guys, use high caliber, a very, very powerful attachment. Now the other one is quick draw, aiming down the sights faster. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it was again, attachment that I used on the submachine gun. Just a perfect attachment, especially when you're gonna be rushing a little bit and just being able to increase your reaction time a little bit, being able to get that first shot off on the enemy in the those gunfights is going to be really crucial. Now, the last attachment that I had is extended mags. And this is a personal preference for me because the KN44, in my personal eyes, 
should should have a little bit more ammo in its magazine. And uh, so I figured out the one extended mags. It allows me to get a few more shots off on people without having to reload. And I figured it was a good substitute if you're not going to be running the fast mag attachment, which may be a good substitute if you're running on a smaller ranged map like Nuketown or Combine. But I figure if you're going to be using an assault rifle, you're most likely playing on a sort of a larger range map, maybe something like Stronghold or Infection, where you're going to be having longer ranges of sight where you're going to need to take advantage of sort of the, the more ammo in your magazine because odds are you're going to miss a couple shots, so having a center mag is going to be really beneficial. Now let's move on to the shotgun category here. Now in my personal opinion, shotguns are way too newbie in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and in my opinion, they've been way too newbie here in Call of Duty in general. But with that out of the way, let's just get into this class setup. So you guys can see here, the best gun that I chose in the shotgun category, hands down for me, has to be the Brecky. And I know that the KRM is another great shotgun. I know the Argus is fantastic as well but when it comes to best ease of use and most damage and just overall slaying power of a shotgun I figured the brekkie would be the best setup here now as far as the attachments goes I chose fast mag extended mag and long barrel I'm telling you guys right now long barrel is a crucial attachment for this weapon. You can still kill people at fairly long distances without using long barrel, but it's gonna allow you to decrease the amount of shots necessary to kill people at those long ranges when you have long barrel on. And then fast mag and extended mags, absolutely crucial, especially because you're gonna be using a shotgun class setup most effectively on a map like Nuketown or Combine. So being able to reload faster and have more ammo in your magazine is gonna be really crucial because spawns gonna be flipping, enemies are gonna be spawning in large groups all at once. So the more ammo you have, the better. And as far as the perks go, afterburner, fast hands scavenger and tactical mask once again you guys can see the best perks to go ahead and use in this game in my opinion now let's move right along here to the lmg category now this for me guys has to be one of my favorite categories in black apps 3 as of recently uh, most of you guys know me if you watch some of my videos that i'm a very rush happy player but when it comes to using the dingo in the lmg categories i'm telling you guys right now this gun absolutely slays i've never really come across another weapon that can do so much slaying in in such a short amount of time with so much accuracy as the Dingo. Now the only real other competitor to the Dingo in my opinion is the BRM because the 48 Dredge and the Gorgon, let's be honest, even though they are powerful weapons, the Gorgon shoots way too slowly and the 48 Dredge is just a hit marker machine. I absolutely hate it. So in between the BRM and the Dingo, I figured because the Dingo has a higher fire rate and it's a little bit more accurate, I figured that the Dingo would be the best weapon to go for here in the LMG category. Now you guys can see the class setup that I'm using for it up on screen here right now. The attachments I chose to use for this weapon are Quick Draw, Fast Mag, and Extended Mags. Now a lot of you guys may actually look at this class setup and say, Hennis, why on earth would you throw Extended Mags on an LMG class setup? That really doesn't make any sense to me. Well guys, when you're using an LMG, uh, odds are you're gonna be playing a little bit more back, right? You're gonna be in an anchor position probably trying to take out lots of enemies at once, whether you're playing hard point or maybe trying to cover a flag in domination. So being able to have as much ammo as possible is gonna be incredibly crucial. Now, I figured to go along really well with that extended mag attachment would be the fast mag attachment. Now the fast mag guys, for me personally, just is necessary on all LMG class setups. And this may just be for me though, because I'm a very rush happy player. So I'm gonna be rushing up into the enemy spawns and being able to knock off a few seconds on that reload time is really important. Now, as far as the perks go for this class setup, I would highly recommend using again what we've covered before afterburner fast hands scavenger and tactical mask and afterburner especially on a class setup like this guys when you're using an lmg being able to thrust a little bit higher and move a little bit quicker and recharge your thrusters that much faster is going to be really important when using a heavy weapon like an lmg and the very last class setup that we're going to be covering here, guys, is for the sniper category, and I would highly recommend using the Locust. Now, you guys are going to see the class setup for it up on screen here right now. I would highly recommend running Fast Mag, Extended Mag, and Rapid Fire. Now, the reason for these attachments is because for me personally, if you're like me and you're not phase Sprat, you're going to need a lot of ammo in each magazine in order to try to increase your chances of hitting that shot. And then after you've gone through the entire clip and you still haven't killed the person yet, if you're still somehow alive, having Fast Mag is going to be really important to allow you to reload your weapon a little bit faster and rapid fire is going to allow you to get those shots off a little bit quicker if you can get the timing down now as far as the sight goes this is where it's really up to personal preference for me i love to run the thermal sight the thermal sight for me is something that is incredibly crucial on a class setup now i'm not going to be running it in the gameplay in the background just simply because i actually don't have the thermal sight unlocked for the locust but if i did have the choice i would have the thermal sight on just simply because i find that when the players are highlighted in a different color it just allows me to snap onto them a little bit easier 
easier and I find that my accuracy is increased a little bit. And uh, and then customizing the reticle within that thermal sight is very important as well because I, I personally believe that the default one is just a little bit too broad. It doesn't allow you to be as precise as some of those other custom ones are that you get from the black market. So if you have one of those, I highly recommend throwing it on. And then as far as the perks go, guys, the only thing that's missing from this class setup is scavenger. And the reason for that is because I don't think a lot of you guys are going to be going on long gun streaks with a sniper. But if you are props to you, definitely recommend throwing on scavenger in that case if you are phase spread. But uh, for the most average players, again, afterburner, fast hands, and tactical mask are going to be the most crucial perks you're going to want to use. So anyways, guys, I really hope you all did find this video beneficial and these class setups as being helpful. If you guys did, go ahead and smack a like, guys. That would definitely mean a lot to me. Like I said, if we could hit 100 likes on this video, that would be awesome. It was a lot of fun putting this video together. And uh, I think as a whole, these class setups will be pretty beneficial to you guys. And it was just a good way for me too to kind of go through all of these classes and all of these guns and all these categories and find what the best class setups are in Black Ops 3. So drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new so you don't miss any more of my content. Comment down below hashtag class setup if you watched it to this point in the video. And tell me down there in the comment section below what your favorite primary weapon category is in Black Ops 3. I'll definitely be interested to hear what you guys have to say. Be sure to go ahead and check out the other videos on screen now if you guys have not done so already. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all. I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.